What points are on this? Does it make sense that they cross the same point here? This is a point on this one, right? Um, this this point, think about the coordinates here. 2 to the 0 was 1. 3 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the 0 is 1. All of them are going to pass through that point. But then as you go to the right, if you're doing 3 to the power of x, 3 to the x is going to get bigger faster than 2 to the x is, right? So it's higher up here. 3 to the 1 is 3. 3 to the or 2 to the 1 is 2, right? This one's going to be steeper. It's steeper to the right the bigger the base is here. So if I make that a 5 now, that's going to be higher still. If we make this a 10 all the way over here, it, it's the first point here is going to be up at 10. <coughs> the bigger you make the base, the steeper it is on the right. Similarly, the this, this steeper it goes down on the left, it goes more quickly up on the right and it goes more quickly down on the left because remember the left side is the reciprocals of the right side. When you had base uh, 5 here, not sure where my point went, but it's off of there somewhere. Um, there it is. When you had 2 to the or 5 to the 1 is 5. 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth, right? Pretty close to it there. 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth. It should be 0.2 if I can get exactly on there, which, there we go. 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth. That's the reciprocal of this one. Okay, if we put this over here. 5 to the 1 is 5. Or 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth, 0.2. They're reciprocals. As you make one go to the go to the right gets bigger, this one's going to get smaller. Are we okay with that idea? That's the first concept to have is how does the base affect it? Now we're going to go to this. We're going to change the properties here so that we can go to... We want to do some negatives here. Negative 10 to 10. If we're going negative 10 to 10 by 0.1, I think I need 200, right? 200 pixels. What's going to happen as I make this base smaller? We know what happens as you make it bigger here. As I make it smaller, now the first thing is I'm going to allow myself to go below 1. When I get down to a base of 1, it's that, right? Does it make sense that that's a horizontal line when the base is 1? 1 to the power of anything. 1 to the power of anything is, is always 1. <coughs> What's going to happen as I make this smaller now? Okay, remember you want to see this again here? This goes down. It's getting flatter and flatter. Now it's like this, right? Does this make sense? <coughs> Why does it go down like that? 0.5 to the x, a half to the x, goes down instead of up. Why is that? 0.5 to the 1 is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 to the 2 is 0.25. When you raise a number smaller than 1 to a bigger and bigger power, what happens to that? I mean, you, you already know this, maybe not in this situation, but if you take a small number, a number smaller than 1, if you take a number bigger than 1, and then you repeatedly multiply by itself, because that's what you're doing when you go 2 to the x. If you repeatedly multiply 2 by itself, it gets bigger. If you take a number smaller than 1, 0.5, and you repeatedly multiply it by itself, it's going to keep getting smaller and smaller, right? So it's, it's going down as you go here. And its reciprocal is bigger and bigger as you go to the left, right? Because you got less and less of them. Remember, the left side is the reciprocal of the right side. When the base is bigger than 1, it goes up to the right. When the base is smaller than 1, it goes down to the right. This is going to keep going down. The asymptote's still the same. It's that horizontal line. It's still the same. The, the, the more closely you get to, whoops, the closer you get to, uh, whoops, to uh, really small numbers there, it's going to be really steep. What happens as soon as I try to make the base 0? Where is it gone here? 
What happened to the point that was on that curve? What happened to the points that were on that curve? As soon as I did this, what happened to the points? Right there, one of the points is defined, but what happens here? This function is undefined when the base is negative. Okay? You can't, you can't have negative bases there. You can have bases that are bigger than one, goes up to the right. Bases that are smaller than one, it goes down to the right. If it's equal to one, it goes like that. I, I think it's going to help to kind of have this picture in your mind that it, it changes like that around one, up or down. Okay? Any questions about that? All the things that I ask you in here, don't get hung up on the filling in the blanks and all of that stuff. Don't get caught up in the what are you being asked to do here. I'm, I'm hoping that you'll notice what's true about this, what's true about this. Those are the two we've just looked at. You should be able to predict from the values what, what happens with those. I've asked you for some of the information. Um, well, we just kind of did this together, investigating the value of B. If you want to do some quick sketches and show for yourself, this is the key, right? If you can do this, then you've learned this, and I'm not so worried about whether you filled in every blank or not, because we, we kind of just did this together, right? <clears throat> Look at what happens when they're between 0 and 1, when they're less than 1, as long as you understand that. If you can explain, that's the key here. Then after lunch, we're going to look at, so then if you can get up to this point right now, after lunch, we'll start looking at transformations, changing them around. Can you fill in some of the important things there? You can make quick sketches of graphs. Get up to this point maybe uh, now and right after lunch, up to page 26. Again, you don't have to fill in every blank, but you have to understand as you go. That's the key. We're not filling in pages, we're trying to understand.